Hey, hey, Queen City Minis and more fans, welcome back, folks. So, guys, we haven't done these in a while, but I figure with me jumping back into Allegiance Imperialis, it would be the perfect time to start doing some unboxing videos again here on the channel. So, guys, today we are looking at the Legion Astri's support uh, battle group, okay? So, from looking at the box, you know, it's got Leviathan Dreadnoughts, Dorado Dreadnoughts, Tarantula Weapon Platforms, and some of the, um, like, Astri's, like, um, artillery pieces and stuff. Now... What is confusing on here, it's epic scale, which is correct, in 24 miniatures. When we flip over the box, guys, you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 models in here, not 24. So, for some reason, this is not correct. Now, when we look at pricing, 50 bucks, not bad for this box. Still a little high, but not too, too bad. And luckily like one or two of these and you can start playing. So let's open it up and take a look at these models. Alrighty. So, nice little box. Product made in the UK. All right, here we go. All right, so first thing we get, the uh, instruction manual. Now I've already built one of these boxes so I can show them to you today, but all the parts are correctly located. Now, when you're building these guys, be careful with taking like part 10 and part 24 and attaching them to the body. Sometimes they don't always fit right, so make sure you're watching for gaps, especially when you put those in here. Um, then for, where's that? The Siege Claw, that does not like to stick either. So you really have to make sure you shave down that part a little bit to make sure this guy sticks on there correctly. So keep an eye on that. And remember when you're putting any Dreadnought arms, or arms on, make sure you always watch to make sure they don't droop and sag and move, especially if you use a plastic glue. So you get the two Dorados. Yes, they both have missiles, but one has the autocannons, one has plasma. And then you're going to get two of the laser, uh, two laser uh, rapier batteries, and then two of the um, quad mortars, two of the uh, tarantula guns with las cannons, two with the air defense missiles, which is pretty neat. And that's kind of all of them there. So super cool kit, pretty easy to build too. So you get a bag with your bases in there, and no, you do not get 24 bases in here. You do get the 16 that is needed for the kit, and then you get two of the exact same frames. So I'll take that out of shot. Now, all of these parts are really, really nicely detailed. No major issues there. It's a little weird with the Hyperion missile for some reason, you know, you have to put that missile piece in with that missile piece. So it, uh, a little bit of a lot of cleaning and there's some, some there are some mold lines, especially in like the auto cannons between the barrels. So just watch out for that. But overall, a pretty, pretty solid piece. Now, these tarantula guns, when we look at them here, you're going to notice, guys, that, like, these two pieces are basically the entire 25mm base. So something to keep track of there, too. Now, the Leviathans are broken up into a bunch of parts, but they're pretty easy to build. The Dorados are very easy to build. Now, be really careful when you're building the... Um, the weapon batteries, they do fit very precisely into these pieces, so just watch out for that. The, um, where's that? Like this piece right here, it has, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got like a little lock piece down here that will lock right in the corner there. And then the sides of the shield will actually lock into the side of the tread. So... That was the only part that was confusing for me, but I figured it out. So if you're wondering about that, that is something to watch out for with this kit. So let's uh, go into looking at some of these models. Now, I haven't built the whole box yet. The big thing I really wanted out of this kit were the Dreadnoughts to build a full, like, Leviathan Dreadnought Talon type deal. So um, I'm going to get two more of each of these guns, two more of each of these, and then two more Dorados. But... Overall, these guys have some really good detail in them. I really like them. I think they're going to make great additions to the, my Word Bearers Force moving forward here in the future. I really like these Dorados too. I was building these on stream, and I kind of really want one now for my um, my White Scars. I know they don't really fit like the theme of the White Scars, but they're a super cool little video. Now... 
or not a video, a super cool little unit. So, and I do like these tarantulas, but like when I say they fill the base out, I mean they really like fill the base out. Like you have to be careful which base you choose because some of them have like coverings that will interfere with that. And then like the tarantula guns. And then finally, like, the laser rapier batteries. Now, if you're a hardcore painter, I would probably keep the Marines off and paint them separately. But for me, I'm not going to go that hardcore into them. And I'll probably paint them first and then paint the gun afterwards to kind of uh, keep it clean. Now, it does suffer from, like, the weird, like, Marine mold line issue. GW do better than that. I'm just going to put that out there. But that's... That's been an ongoing issue, so yeah, so fun times. But guys, that's the kit, kind of easy. Now, like I said, you do get more models than this. You're gonna have two more of these and basically double this area here, but you do get the four Leviathans, which I'm excited to field Leviathans. I think they're really cool. I think the Dorados will actually be pretty neat too to field. That's why I really got this kit was for that itself. Um, I don't think I'm going to use these as much. Maybe the Hyperion missiles are just for like some air support or um, air defense. Luckily in my local area, not a whole lot of people have planes, especially out of the Marine side. We have one person who has a ton of them. He doesn't have enough field like a full like air raid list, but he has enough to field a decent force with them. So something to watch out for. And he refuses to buy, <laughs> buy uh, drop pods because of how expensive an entire drop pod army would be, which it is going to be incredibly expensive to do that. But overall, not a bad kit itself. I think that most people are probably going to buy two of these. That way, you know, you have four of each of these. You're going to have, um, you'll have eight of these, eight of these. And I think that's the perfect starting area to kind of Get your feet wet within Legion Superialis. Eventually, later on down the line, you may want some more of these. You may like piece it out, like, hey, I'm gonna put these dreadnoughts in with this group and these guys with this group, and like split your legions up a little bit, which is perfectly fine and legal within the game. Now, the only like comparison kit we really have to this is the um, Solar Auxil Auxilia one, um, which has like a whole bunch of like different. Like weapon teams and stuff they can use but overall this is a super cool little kit and if you haven't gotten it yet for legions it is the perfect addition because all your rules are in the base model box so if you're buying the big box set i would definitely pick up a box of these to go along with it the same as for the um same as like the kratos battle tank i feel like if you are starting marines you want this kit as well as a kratos kit to go along with the starter set Definitely for sure when you get started. So definitely check these guys out. Definitely try and find one in your area if you can. I know they're a little sparse, especially like being a marine kit, but definitely check it out if you can. But guys, I want to do thank you so much for joining me here for this quick little unboxing. I hope it was informative to you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Queen City Minis and more. Signing out. Adios.